Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Today, Skylim Software has updated Luminar 4 to version 4.3. This is a free update to anyone that already owns Luminar 4. In this video, I'm going to talk about some of the highlights of this update. Now, in the description below this video, I'll have a link to my website, and there you'll find everything that is new in Luminar 4.3. Now, I'm going to say right at the top that there really isn't anything earth shattering different in this update. Although they did do some things that many of us have been asking them to do for some time. So there are some welcome changes and additions to Luminar 4.3. So I'm going to go over some of the, um, the things that are new in this version of Luminar. And we're going to start out with the search Function. So if you're in grid view with the library module, at the top you have a little search button. In the past, I believe you only could search for like file name. Well, now you could search for folder name, date, or extension. So they've enhanced search. They've also added 500px integration. So those of you that use 500px, if you click on the export button at the top, you'll see that 500px is there. So you could uh, export an image directly from Luminar 4.3 to 500 px um, i'm going to read what they wrote here they wrote their stability and performance improvements now this is welcome uh, let me read what they wrote skylum continues its work on boosting performance in luminar with the 4.3 update raw files now open faster than ever before in luminar meaning photographers can start working on their images more quickly with the 4.3 update Luminar tools also use less of the computer's memory, resulting in quicker and more responsive sliders. What results is a smoother and snappier experience for creatives. Those using older or less powerful computers should also see speed boost to help them enhance their editing and management workflows. Now, as far as that is concerned, I do most of my work on this very old iMac. It's a 2013 iMac. And at the time it was tricked out and now tricked out for Apple is still two years behind a PC. So you can make the argument that this is really a 2011 computer. So it's relatively old and I haven't really seen much of an improvement in its performance on this older machine. Now I do some work on a very new MacBook Pro. It's less than a year old and um, I really haven't done much with Luminar on that computer. I mostly use that computer for writing and for um, like getting my videos organized and things like that. I don't really do a lot of editing on that computer. So in the comments below, those of you that have updated your Luminar to version 4.3, have you seen a performance improvement? Uh, I'm interested to know. All right, now uh, another thing kind of minor, they added a faster looks experience. So if you're in the edit uh, module, and you go up to looks over here. I guess when you go from look to look, it, it just is faster. Um, so those of you that use looks, hopefully that helps you as well. Um, okay, improvements to cropping. And uh, this is welcome. They move the cropping over here to the canvas tab. So it's right here. And why it's better there is because quite often you're going to do something in lens geometry, like in this image, see how the... Um, the light pole is tilted in. So I would go to lens and geometry and I would go to this vertical tab and I would like straighten out that pole, right? So it's nice and straight. Well, in doing that, you could see now I have all these dead pixels at the bottom. Well, in the past, you had to go to a different panel to access the crop and rotate um, function. So now it's welcome that it's right there. So it's a little faster and they improve the way it um, actually works as well. So I could crop this now and then I'm done. Click on done. It's applying crop there. I'm done. So you could see how that is a welcome change uh, to this version of Luminar. And I kind of screwed up my lens or I think I did a little bit too much. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay. So that is uh, crop. They have did some improvements to the cropping. Now here's one that many of us have been asking them to do. If you go to the creative tab and you go to AI augmented sky, they did several 
improvements here. First of all, under object selection, they now have show custom sky objects. That allows you to put your own objects into a very specific folder that is designated by Luminar 4.3 and they'll always show up. So you don't have to always go to the bottom load custom image to load your custom augmented sky objects. So what you would do is you would do this and in my case because I have a Mac a finder window opens up. If you have a PC a uh, file explorer window will open up to the folder that these objects need to go into. Then what you could do is move this over here. I have a object called geese. It's just a bunch of geese flying in the air. I could put it in that folder and I'm moving it into that folder. So I'll close that down. Then when we go back to Luminar 4 and I go to object selection, you could see it's right there now. It's in the list. So I could add geese to this, uh, to this um, photo. Now on place object, they've done some improvements here as well. So I'm going to scale it down and move it over here, like right, I don't know, like that. Now, if you go to advanced settings, there's now a little checkbox to flip object. So you could flip it horizontally. Now, uh, in the past, as you may recall, you had to go to place object, grab a handle and pull the handle over. And the problem with that is you would often distort the image because it wouldn't keep the proportions, um, uh, you know, uh, of height and width. So you would have to kind of uh, play around with it to get it to look right. So that is a definite improvement there as well. So with Augmented Sky, you could put your own augmented objects into a very specific folder and they'll always show up on this list from this point forward. So that is a nice new feature added to Luminar 4.3. Now um, with the skies, they've done the same thing. So if we go to uh, AI sky replacement and we go to sky selection, you could see show custom skies right here. And again, if I click on that, a finder window opens up. And if I go over to here, I have a sky on my desktop and I'll just drop it in there, move it into that folder. Now that it's in that folder, when I go to this uh, AI sky replacement in Luminar 4 and click on sky selection, you could see it's right there. Sky 1 is what I named it. You can name it anything you want, of course. And so I could do that and it will put my new sky into this image. And uh, I don't think they've done any other enhancements uh, to the rest of the sliders or anything like that. They've just added that functionality. Now that, um, that is that. The other thing they've done is they've uh, just improved the brush masking. Uh, let's see if I could demo that real quick. Let's go to color and let's go to advanced setting. No, you know what? Make it more obvious is I will go to landscape enhancer and I'm going to go to golden hour and just crank it. All right. Now let's say I just want to mask it. So it's only on these trees in the background. So I would go to edit mask brush. Now the thing that is new is that there's going to be a red overlay when I paint. So as I paint, you see that red overlay? Hopefully you could see it on the green and yellow trees out there. So you could see that it's painting that overlay and it's very responsive. It's very fast. So you could see better where you're painting and you can see it just applies it there where I want it. So that is an enhancement to the masking brush. Uh, basically they add that red overlay so that you could see what you're doing. Oh, that is, I think, pretty much it. I'll read a um, couple more things. They've done improvements to localizations. Uh, those of you there where English isn't your first language, uh, Luminar 4.3 includes improvements to translations for all supported languages and understands German, Japanese, Korean, Italian, French, and Spanish better than ever. Now, camera support. This is very important, especially to someone like me that recently got a Fujifilm X-T4 that wasn't recognized in Luminar 4. Well, it is now. Luminar 4.3 brings new camera support to recently released cameras. Now, Luminar supports the Canon EOS-1D X Mark III, uncompressed only, it says. 
Fujifilm X100V, Fujifilm X-T200, Fujifilm X-T4, Leica SL2, Nikon Colpix P950, Nikon D780, Nikon Z50, Olympus OM-D E-M1 Mark III, Olympus E-PL10, Panasonic DC-S1H, and the Sony A9 Mark II. So those are new camera supports that has been added to Luminar 4.3. And that's everything that I think is notable in this version of Luminar. Again, in the description below the video, I'll have a link to my website and you'll find everything that is new in Luminar 4.3. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.